everybody welcome to stand react so glad you're here joining me today we are going to get into the new video that foodie beauty posted called deflammatory claims let's see what she's got to say so i hope you have your pearls ready to be clutched because this is going to be this kind of video oh boy and when it comes to my pet care people like to clutch their pearls over every little thing and just so you know i do have her speed sped up so she's not talking fast i just have her sped up and that's what I'm going to discuss today. I'm going to tell you the full history story about Julia, and then I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Um, so basically what's going on is I'm now being accused of being an animal abuser because my cat has not been spayed yet. And she has been given two times, not once or three times, it's two times. She just likes to manufacture drama. If she just didn't talk about it, it wouldn't be an issue, but she keeps bringing it up. And look, the reason why people are bringing it up is because you keep talking about it. And... It's, it's, you gotta get the cat fixed. I don't know why you're putting a cat through this. And, and then you keep talking about how much the cat is suffering. And that's why people are concerned. Why don't you get the cat fixed? A, I don't, I don't know what they call it, a progestin shot. It's a hormone shot to keep her out of heat for several months. Her first shot lasted almost a year. Exactly. Um, so yeah, they can last several months. The well, why not just get her fixed? I mean, you're paying for the shots, right? So each time you're paying, for, I mean, why don't you put it towards getting the cat fixed? First one was administered by um, a different veterinarian. This one, a different one, uh, two different veterinarians. But if you're gonna call me an animal abuser for give, getting her this shot, then you're also calling the veterinarian an animal abuser, which I can guarantee you 100%, they're not in the profession to abuse animals. You would need to call them that logically because they are the ones who actually gave the shot. And actually, when we first brought Julia to the vet when she went into heat to, suggest, to see about getting her fixed, which we did do, the vet was the one who suggested the shot for now because she needed other treatments that uh, he wanted performed before she could be fixed. So here's the story. We got Julia. Now the question is, did she get those things done? Probably not. And that's why she hasn't gotten the cat fixed. From someone Salah knew. And... They, that person that Salah knew, got them from somebody they knew and had to leave the country. So they were looking to rehome Julia. The, Julia was never theirs. They had other cats to take care of. So, uh, so do we believe this first thing she's saying, which is that the cat actually belonged to one of Salah's friends and they were no longer able to care for them and that's how she got the cat? I think I think they just picked up a wild cat outside that they liked. That's what I think, but whatever. Um, that person wasn't really sure about her whole history, about her exact age and everything like that. So we weren't sure about her exact age. It was just an estimate. I can't even remember now what it was, but she was pretty young. Um, but that wasn't 100% certain. That was just an estimate to tell you guys whatever. Um, so she went into heat the first time. And so we brought her to the vet almost right away. Um, the vet examined her, as a good veterinarian would do, and saw that she had like a skin condition we had no idea about that he wanted to be fixed up first so we had to take her where she gets her nails trimmed get her a couple of these uh, the special shampoo to wash her skin um, and that would have to clear up before she could be vaccinated so then we had to get her vaccinated and then we had to arrange to get her fixed but we thought you know even the vet said there's no rush because she has this vaccine that can last up to a year and it did not not a year he said actually 10 months this actually lasted almost a year so usually it's about between seven to ten months but it can last longer so um we just weren't really keeping track, I guess, of the exact date of when it would wear off. Another note is actually, she, he didn't want to give her the vaccine while she was in heat because whenever she was in heat, she was under more stress and just more, you know, tired and everything like that. So he wanted to wait until after her cycle was over or she was no longer in heat because this injection would have put her out of heat within three days. So it's like almost like a form of birth control. Okay, well, we're still trying to figure out the answer of, did you get the other stuff done that needed to get done before you got the cat fixed? Because that's what you started off saying. Still haven't heard a response. Which even humans take, all right? So um, again, if it was animal abuse, the doctor would be responsible for the animal, animal abuse because they're the one who recommended it to us in the first place. While we took- Okay, no, no, that's not how it works. Did you get the stuff done that needed to get done before the cat got fixed? That's the missing link. You probably didn't get it done and that's why they can't get, the cat can't get fixed. But you're not going to admit to the part of not handling your responsibilities and getting the stuff done that the cat needed to have done. See, this, this is the problem you have with responsibility. You can't handle responsibility. It's not something you're equipped to do. You're not a responsible person. So when you own a pet, you're not doing the things that you need to do to take care of them. Took care of her other health issues. 
um, to say for a creator, you know who it is, to constantly make content on the basis that we abuse our animals is full defamation. Full defamation. And I might be in Kuwait now, but this person better hope, better hope that I don't follow through with a defamation case in the future. You can laugh now, but all of it, in my on my side, all of it's documented on their channel. Like they have these streams and all these videos. And even if they take them down, the internet's forever, right? So anyway, because that, that's what it is. It's pure defamation. Even accusing me of animal abuse with BBJ, I have those files from the animal control who are Chantal, you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. It, it, it again, it has to do with you bringing it up and talking about it. Nobody would even know any of this stuff if you didn't talk about it endlessly. You're constantly bringing up the cats. If you didn't bring it up, nobody would talk about it. The reason why people use the word animal abuser is because of how you neglect your animals. It's not, nobody's saying, you know, you're throwing your cat cat clear across the room against the wall smashing his head and nobody's saying that but we're saying you're not doing the things that you're supposed to do that a responsible pet owner does you're just making excuses responsible for animal abuse cases on my side they've always left our premises without any count uh, without um deeming any abuse or neglect at all so that's it that's all i'm going to say about that i'm not revisiting old drama there's just no she has said this line a thousand times. I am not going to revisit this topic. This is the last time I'm going to talk about it. She has said this so many times and she keeps coming back. And why? Because she's so triggered by certain reaction channels. She just can't help herself. And again, what did she say the other day? Oh, I don't even really watch this with me. I haven't watched that stuff at all. You're watching it. You're absolutely watching it. No doubt in my mind right now. Okay. Um, so back to Julia. So it was the vet who actually suggested this while we could take care of the other issues for Julia. Um, so they've had the cat, what is it, a year now? I'm not quite sure. I, I forget. She still hasn't gotten done the things that the cat needed done, which she probably could have gotten done within a month, right? Like, I'm sure it's nothing major. Actually, as a side note, I just want to say, all of this is not really anyone's business, how I take care of my pet. If my pet, she's being... We'll then stop talking about the pets. Chantal, if you bring something up, you're making it relevant. You're making it a topic for people to talk about. Well-fed, she's spoiled with love, and she's very comfortable here. Like, if she was out on the streets of Kuwait in the heat with no food, shelter, water, come on, you know? So um, there's just this person who has to keep making me twisting things making me out to be a villain so they continue to have content anyways meanwhile they and you continue to talk about the reactors and what they're saying about you to keep yourself relevant because that's the only content you have and it, we just keep doing a cycle over and over again you talk about them they talk about you you talk about them they talk about you like instead why don't you focus on building content that's original and yours there's so many things you could be doing for content but you're not smoke all the time Wait, hot boxing this? content anyways meanwhile they smoke all the time um excuse me you're judging someone for smoking you're smoking too that's kind of hypocritical don't you think i'm hot boxing their animals with their cigarette smoke so and yeah well you have the cat in your apartment when you're smoking I do smoke shisha once in a while. I mean, of course, she had to mention that she smoked the shisha because she knew that was going to come up. But I'm not here accusing people of animal abuse, am I? So, um, so I guess we just didn't really. Well, you just said they're smoking and suffocating our animals, and uh, what? Keep track of like how long the vaccine was lasting. She did end up going in heat again, and I think what triggered it was me having the scent of those male cats on me from downstairs because she was really into the scent, and she went into heat like the next day. Um, so we are traveling very soon. I don't feel comfortable with getting her fixed without me being here to care. Okay, so great. So now they're going away. They're not going to, they're going to have to postpone getting a cat fixed again, which means the cat's going to go in heat again and is going to suffer going through that. <sighs> For her and to keep an eye on her. Um, so basically, um, we made the decision to go back to another vet and another pet clinic and say, you know, can we get her another shot for now? And the vet said, yes, but this will be the last one. Usually two is like the max recommended, um, just to prevent problems in the future that the hormones could cause. So um, seeing that we don't really have another choice because we don't have the time. I know people will say, well, that's not an excuse not to get your pet. 
how can you not have the time? You all don't do shit. What are you talking about? You have an obscene amount of empty time in your life. That is no excuse. Not getting them fixed is not a medical emergency, okay? Like, we have these tickets bought, we have the hotel paid for, we have everything. And Chantal, you had over a year to get this done. You still haven't even completed the things that needed to be done before you got the cat fixed. What have you been doing all these months? Sitting on your ass and not getting things done. You can't go through life just being constantly irresponsible. And we will lose money um, on the plane tickets and everything. So. Well, then why did you book the flight? Why did you book the trip before taking care of your responsibilities? She has an excuse for everything. She is phenomenal at making excuses. So, uh, yeah, seeing as the vet said it was okay to get another shot, we got her another shot. And lo and behold, she's fine. She has, like, no symptoms of any side effects. She's back to her regular self. She's not lethargic or not eating or anything like that. Trust me, she's eating and she's running around chasing flies and whatever else. So she's a happy cat. Anytime you've ever seen her on video, she's not cowering in a corner. She's not afraid. She's um, not emaciated. She's always on her back which is the most comfortable happiest position a cat could be in anytime i talk to her she flops on her back and rolls over you've seen that many times just like you've seen many times in my previous streams and videos where bbj was extremely happy bbj was extremely old had a lot of health problems that old cats have um so i mean yeah like julia's fine um if you want to accuse me of being an animal abuser because my cat was in heat that is just beyond ridiculous and after this video we're not even going to address anything ridiculous like that you can keep you know keep making your defam defamatory well, why don't you stop talking about how the cat is suffering? It's hard for people, especially when they have empathy and sympathy and they feel those things, to hear about an animal who's struggling. So why don't instead of talking about it, why don't you do something about it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You just don't have any time. You're so busy. I mean, you're working, you know, 80 hours a week. You're running your kids here and there. You got family obligations. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not you. What am I talking about? Tour videos. I, I hope that they stack up. And I hope for your sake that I never take action on it. But we'll see. Because that Well, if you weren't watching the reactors, there would be nothing to take action on, right? So why are you watching the reactors? That's just ridiculous at this point. Like, people are getting away with the most vile things and actions and, and saying and doing the most vile things um, to people in the community. And it's just like going too far. It's just being stretched too far. I get it that I'm not the person that I was and you don't have the content that you used to. And, you know, guess what? People grow and they change. And Chantal, I hate to tell you this, honey, but you haven't changed. You're the same. There's nothing different about you. You're only a little bit, tiny bit more milder because of the scenario you're in. You know, you're in Kuwait. You're with this Muslim man. You converted to a faith you know nothing about. You know. Um, go through phases in life. I'm not here for your entertainment. Like, in you're not? Damn, I thought you were. The way that my life is not going to just be your entertainment in the way that Aww, you think it is. Um, so, you know, I'm sorry that you can't profit off of my downward spi spiral over and over um, like you could before, but that doesn't mean that you can just invent BS like that, defamatory content that I'm an animal abuser because my cat is not spayed and was given an injection, a hormonal injection to keep her out of heat for a while. Okay. Shanta, just get the cat fixed. The reason why some of us can't quite wrap our head around you and the excuses you're making is because you do absolutely nothing. You don't work. You don't have kids. You don't have responsibilities. You have nothing. So for when we're watching this and hearing you, all we're thinking about is, what are you talking about? You don't have the time. You have endless amounts of time to get this stuff done. Um, and yes, that is a good excuse to get her the injection because um, I don't want to have her have an operation, which is more major for cats to be female cats to be spayed than males, and just take off and leave the country because I would worry about her. You know. Why didn't you do it months before? Oh, like <laughs> my pets are very much loved, and you've never seen otherwise in any of my videos. Uh, Julia has always been happy, so 
um yes it's just something else to fake outrage over and you know i've seen some creators some reactors say that i'm stupid for bringing this to the internet why would i do that if i'm just going to be criticized for being an animal abuser and you know my answer to that is because i simply don't care what people that's exactly right you got it bingo ding 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 you don't care you don't care I mean, you're sitting here, you're complaining that people are talking about it, but you continue to talk about it, and then yet you don't care. I mean, make that make sense. People think about it. I'm not an animal abuser. I'm not going to hide actions that are not harmful just because some other people want to twist it and interpret it that way. You know, if the injection, the hormonal injection, was something that was so harmful for pets and was so... Um... I don't think anyone... And I don't know for a fact, but I doubt anybody is saying that the shot is an issue. That's not the issue. The issue is that you have wasted all this time and waited to the very last minute to get the situation fixed. And yet it is still not fixed. It was a form of animal abuse. The vet vets would not be administering it, you know, <laughs> like, um, there can be side effects just like with any medication you give to someone or to your pets. But luckily there's been no side effects with Julia at all. So she's fine. Um, you can rage all you want elsewhere about it. Nobody's um, raging again, about but I'm cat. so happy that you have those videos documenting your defamation. Thank you very much. Um, if people want to clutch their pearls about that, the situation, please do it elsewhere because I'm honestly trying to rebuild an audience who is not negative all the time. It doesn't come on my streams to just, you know, come up with all these things, cause drama, incite drama and everything else. Like I'm just- Chantal, you are your drama. You bring this all upon yourself. I mean, it wouldn't be so dramatic if you didn't do all the things that you do and just continue to do. It, it wouldn't be so dramatic if you weren't a, a, a liar. It wouldn't be so dramatic if you weren't neglecting your responsibilities. I'm just over it. I'm just totally over it. Um... If you're over it, then shut up. Why are you talking about it? Yeah, they're just... I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm done with that drama. It's just not, it's, it's never ending. It's just always something else. And the things are becoming more and more outrageous, outrageous. Um, so if you're going to call me an animal abuser, again, just emphasizing that you'll need to call the vet an animal abuser because they're the ones who suggested it in the first place and they're the ones who administered it. Um, I don't. But I think you're leaving out why they suggested it and they suggested it because there were some things that needed to be done before the, the cat was spayed. So it's been delayed because you didn't get those things done. So it's not the vet's fault. It's your fault. I think that a veterinarian would um, administer animal abuse on their animals, on their patients. Chantal, stop being an ignorant, ignorant ass, okay? It is not the vet's fault. See, she's trying to, she's trying to pull this crap and I can't stand it. It's not the vet's fault. Chantal, it's your fault because you neglected the things that needed to be done before you got the cat fixed. So that's just something that's like, this person's audience is not logical. They don't think logically. Um, they're just hive-minded, pack-minded, and they're just like a bunch of coyotes, like, rawr, 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 and they don't, and they don't <laughs> think, and they don't think for themselves. Um, and unfortunately, that's what happens. You have these wild, ridiculous accusations. And um, you can think what you want. Um, when we get back, we have about maybe... I don't know the we're not going to wait like the full time like last time but um i'd say after maybe five or six months we will um get her. so is she saying she's going to be gone for that long like where the hell is she going is this going to be another like month two month three month trip interesting like we won't let her go into another cycle um but because of the injection there's no rush. Like, this is kind of like if you have children, right? And you go, oh, you know what? Sorry, you got the flu. You're sick. Can't take you to the doctor. You know, I got I got the planned trip. I got the airline tickets. Sorry. Yeah, I could have taken you all, you know, the last couple of weeks when you were sick. But, yeah, I just didn't have enough time. You know, I was flipping through the channels, watching TV, doing absolutely nothing productive with my life. I mean, this is, this is, this is, it makes no sense. How she tries to manipulate it so it's not her fault. Oh, wait, let me screenshot this baby. Okay. So, yeah. Should we have done it sooner this time? 
Um, yes, I don't think she, she may not have gone in heat if she didn't smell the cats, but it was always a possibility. So maybe we should have got it done before we traveled, like way before. But even if we didn't get her spayed, it's not animal abuse. You can't go around saying that animals who are not spayed are abused animals or neglected. Like it's just not the case. That's not what people are saying. What they're saying is, why haven't you had it done already? It's not it. Everyone has a different opinion on that. Some people are against getting surgery for their animals and that's their right. That's their right, you know? So unless the animal is being starved, um, shut in, you know, shut away and actually neglected without food or water or love or attention for several days, for several, you know what I mean? Like, um, just sh because you, you don't know what you're talking about. Like these accusations are so invalid and they're defamatory. And they are not. Trust me when I tell you, you definitely haven't handled your responsibilities when it comes to this cat. The lying is unbelievable. She has an excuse for everything. And everything that's a priority is her. Her trip's the priority. She doesn't put the cat as a... And you know, like a cat, it's like having a child, right? They rely on you. They're dependent on you. You have to take care of those responsibilities. And I know that this community where these reactors are don't care about that. They just don't. That's exactly what they're aiming for. And that they're aiming at anything they can, you know, hang on to or um, twist or whatever to make money. But it's just not the case and it can backfire. And what goes around comes around. Um, definitely. So I would be careful about that if I were you. Um, but Ooh, is she making a threat that we have to be careful of calling her an animal abuser? I mean, <laughs> other than that, yeah, I, I eventually told people about Julia. First, I was in the, the gym and the pool area, um, a mixture of reasons. I wanted to see the cat, a change of environment, but also I didn't want. Okay, so that's why she was sitting in the gym area, okay, because the cat was in heat and just getting on her last nerves, right? So she just kind of locked up the cat in the apartment, went and sat downstairs because she's like, I can't deal with this, right? I can't, I can't. But if she had taken care of it months ago, this wouldn't be a problem right now. I want her meowing loudly on the camera. I didn't, you know, want to have to keep talking through that. Chantal, just admit it. It was annoying the fuck out of you. Okay? It was annoying you. Just to say it. It's okay. We all have heard cats in heat. And also, I knew what people were going to say, and I was right. So I just thought, just to avoid the headache. But then something switched, and I was like, I wanted to go back up to my apartment. And I was like, why am I staying here just to, just because, like, why do I care what these people think? You know, why do I care? I'm not going to, like, why am I not living the life how I want to just because of what people are going to think? Go ahead, call me an animal abuser, because there's zero truth to it. So that's what... I have never once seen you not live the way you want to live and do the things that you want to do. Literally everything, everything is about you you get everything you want you do everything you want like yeah what clued in and i said i'm going upstairs my cat's in heat it is what it is think what you want and of course right away oh she's an animal abuser you know i i knew it that's why i was in the gym but i don't care. i mean look calling her an animal abuser it, it's a strong word right i think she just doesn't like it being used but the reality is she's neglectful she's very neglectful with animals because it's not true so if it's not true you don't care about it that's how it goes and after this video hey guys if you like the video hit, hit the like button if you like the content subscribe i'm not even going to talk about any of this anymore um if you come into my streams and you accuse me of being an animal abuser i probably won't care but you'll probably still be blocked by mods so whatever we don't need that negativity um you don't have a business in my stream anyway watching me if you're you know if you're you think i'm such an, a horrible person um so but yeah i would never i would hurt myself on, before guys. i ever did hold on harm to my pet so yeah and i'm pretty sure the veterinarian wouldn't do harm to my pet so for them to suggest that in the my dog is at the window looking out the window and wa he's wanting to bark so if you hear him bark that's why he's looking out the window first place um you know and yeah she did get the bath she did get the vaccines um but again none of that is like anyone's business like what i do with my pet like well, if it's none of our business, then why do you keep talking about it? At all, you know, um, she's very happy. So anyways, um, I don't have anything else to say about it. Just that. And again, that's going to be the last time that I ever talk about the situation. Um, she will not go into heat for a while, and, inshallah, and we will take care of it before that happens again. So we have decided she will be spayed eventually, but just right now this was the best option like i said we are traveling it was too soon that it happened so yes anyway i guess that's it thank you for listening all right guys this was her video just amazing huh 
just absolutely amazing. She had every excuse. Tell me what you think below. Leave me a comment. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you enjoy this content, please come by and subscribe. Take care, guys.